In this lecture, we will be talking about the international financial system. But before we go into details about the international financial system, which we will be discussing in the following lecture videos, first let's try to understand how central banks in a country like the Fed in the United States can intervene in the foreign exchange market. Now, foreign exchange market intervention mainly happens through changes in the money supply. Now, we'll try to understand how the Fed can intervene in this market and as a result can change money supply. Before you go into details, you must remember that money supply was equal to money multiplier times monetary base. Now, if you remember monetary base, it is nothing but currency plus reserves that Fed keeps in their liability sides of their balance sheet. Now, Previously, we discussed that Fed holds types of assets, especially the discount loans they have given out, and also the government treasuries or treasury bills or government bonds that they hold. Having said that, in, in addition, central banks also hold foreign currencies as part of their asset portfolios. So essentially, by buying and selling foreign currency, they can affect the monetary base. Let's try to understand that using a Fed's balance sheet. So this is Fed's balance sheet. We have assets on the left, liabilities on the right. And if you see in this asset, we have included foreign reserves. Foreign exchange reserves is something many countries need to keep to trade with other parts of this world, depending on what currencies they accept or they don't accept. Also, foreign currencies needs to be kept because often citizens of one country do travel to another country and that's why they need, may need foreign currencies. Now, if Fed decides to sell, now if, if you remember, foreign assets can be in currencies and if they suppose sell $1 billion worth of foreign currency, which essentially means that currency in circulation has to go down by $1 billion on the liabilities side. Now, it essentially is that they sell these currencies, people pay them in US dollar, and Fed keep that dollar and put it in their vault, so that currency vanishes from circulation. So, in a sense, when this currency in circulation decreases, which essentially means that decrease in monetary base, and if monetary base decreases, which means that money supply also decreases here. This can happen in a different way as well. This is the case where Fed sold $1 billion of foreign assets. Now, often these buyers of these foreign assets, if Fed is selling, somebody is buying it, often the buyer of these foreign assets can be the banks, like our local commercial banks. And when they buy this, obviously they have to pay in cash. If they pay in cash, which essentially means that bank's reserves that Fed is holding might has to go down. So again, if there's a decline in reserves because all those foreign currencies that commercial banks bought from the Fed leads to decrease in reserves, that also leads to decrease in monetary base, which essentially means that, again, your money supply will decrease. So the bottom line is this, a Fed sale of domestic currency to purchase foreign assets in the foreign exchange market results in equal rise in international reserves and monetary base, and vice versa. So if Fed decides to buy foreign exchange, they'll be releasing more dollars, so monetary base will increase. On the other hand, if Fed decides to sell foreign exchange, that means monetary base will decrease because currency in circulation or reserve is going to decrease. So bottom line is this, Fed sell of foreign currency lead to decrease in monetary base and vice versa. Now, there are two kinds of interventions. Now, one is called sterilized intervention and there is an unsterilized foreign exchange intervention. Let's try to understand what does it mean. So first, let's get into unsterilized foreign exchange intervention. So an unsterilized intervention 
in which domestic currency is sold to purchase foreign assets leads to a gain in international reserves an increase in the money supply and the depreciation of the domestic currency so essentially it means that under unsterilized intervention when fed sells foreign currencies or when fed buys foreign currencies again depending on what they are doing it has impact on the exchange rate that means the exchange rate of the say in the case of us exchange rate of dollar against euros or any other currencies in this world what is sterilized intervention it is the central bank engages in offsetting open market operations and so there is no impact on the monetary base and the money supply so under sterilized intervention those fed can buy and sell foreign exchanges but it will not impact exchange rate so under sterilized intervention no impact on exchange rate now why there is no impact on exchange rate because they will do a counter operations or offsetting operations which takes care of the changes in the exchange rate by affecting monetary base so let's try to understand each of these scenarios one by one let's first take the unsterilized purchase of dollars and sale of foreign assets so what happens here in this particular case to understand unsterilized purchase of dollar let's go back to the foreign exchange market and if you remember in the foreign exchange market it, the exchange rates at least in the short run are determined by demand and supply of assets so we'll have say exchange rate on the vertical axis which is essentially measured through euro per dollar because we are looking it from the us perspective so dollar is the best currency and this on the horizontal axis will put quantity of dollar assets now we know that supply of dollar assets is fixed which is vertical so this is supply of dollar assets and this is your demand for dollar assets so when and this is your exchange rate to start with if for some reason fed decides to buy us dollar which essentially means that they decide to sell foreign exchanges if they decide to sell foreign exchanges which essentially means that the demand for dollar is going to go up if the demand for dollar goes up the demand curve will shift to the right and it shifts from here to here because of fed sell of foreign currency so fed sells this foreign currency as a result your new exchange rate goes up here and it goes up to e2 that means now dollar can buy more euros so dollar appreciated in this case dollar appreciated because of sell of foreign currency by fed and this is called unsterilized intervention because in this case fed is actually affecting the exchange rate so this is pretty much the same way the china or chinese central bank or bank of china try to a people's bank of china try to affect the exchange rate by artificially increasing the demand for dollar assets now let's try to understand the sterilized intervention under sterilized intervention there is no impact on exchange rate the question is how it works 
So let's start with the again with the balance sheet of the Fed. Let's say Fed sells $1 billion of foreign assets. So if they sell $1 billion of foreign assets, obviously it, there will be a decrease in circulation of currency. Now, if Fed offset that $1 billion sale of foreign assets by purchase of $1 billion of government bonds, then again, they are releasing the same currency back in the market. So net effect on monetary base would be zero because they are offsetting it by buying government bonds. So in this case, basically what happening, Fed on the one hand selling foreign exchanges, in return they are getting the cash, so cash is withdrawn from the market, so monetary base decreases first, but Fed offsets it by buying more government bonds. When they buy government bonds, they release those currencies back in the market. And that's why this is a sterilized intervention. That means there's no impact on the exchange rate. Again, depending on the central banks, depending on the economic situation, some countries do actively engage in unsterilized intervention where they try to affect exchange rates. On the other hand, there are countries who maintain a sterilized intervention. That means whatever they do, they try to keep the exchange rate constant. All depend on the specific countries and their central banks we are talking about.